Hi Floss Tube, it's Deb from Frog Cottage Designs. It's been almost three weeks since my last Floss Tube. Lots been happening here. This is Floss Tube number 16 and today's the 31st of October, <gasps> Halloween. Um, my family's just finished watching the Bette Midler, what was it, the New York Restoration Project. Um, we streamed it live here in Australia. Um, I love the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus and I follow Bette Midler on Instagram. So when she had the, um, the show or the live thing going, um, I had to just buy a ticket. So with our, um, we had a lot, sorry, the last couple of days I, sorry, I'm back. Um, the last two days I've developed really bad sinus and it's been really windy here. Well, there's been storms. Um, yeah, so it's not agreeing with me. I actually, <clears throat> we just finished watching the New York uh, Restoration Project and I said to my husband, I need to do this floss tube. Um, why don't you take the kids out for a burger? Well, for us... Um, a burger is a 100k round trip. So anyway, <laughs> he's taken our kids plus uh, my grandchild, Jamie. Uh, she's here for the weekend, so that's lovely. So they're gone for a burger for lunch so I can do a floss tube. Plus he's getting me some more sinus tablets because he forgot to buy them yesterday. And I'm really starting to suffer. My eyes are starting to weep. So I apologise in advance. It's been a busy three weeks, as I was, um, I'm not sure if I said it, um, because I have restarted this a few times so I could have a cough. My husband was away for six weeks, and in that time, I repainted, had the house painted, all the living areas, um, and um, we had some feature walls put in, and we still have a lot of stuff still. we got big verandas uh, still on the veranda. I'm sorting through. Um and I'm making really hard decisions. If it doesn't bring me joy, it's not coming back into this house. So that's really good. So I love, like the bear look at the moment. So, and it's so easy to clean, especially with all the kids. So yeah, on the stitching front, uh, my husband and I uh, just had respite for five days. Um, it's been a bit of a stressful time the last couple of months with um, our two oldest. So we needed a bit of a break. So uh, we went to Sydney and then to Manly um, and it rained the whole time. So, which I didn't care because it meant that I got to do some stitching because I haven't done a lot of stitching the last couple of weeks. So I'll show you those soon. But um, I think a week or so ago, uh, Julie from... Um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World posted on Instagram, International Floss Tuber FFO Weekend. And I thought, yes, I said to the husband, I'm doing that. I have a lot of things that I need to finish off. So I went to my sewing room and I finished four, no, did I finish four things? I finished three things, which um, I was quite excited about. I'm not sure if I showed you this one. I might have only done it on Instagram, but I finished this prior. Um, I finished this stitchery maybe six months ago and forgot I had it. But this is Hen and Chickens. Is it Hen and Her Chicks? By With Thy Needle and Thread. And I've just made it into one of those nice little pillows. And it's filled with walnut shells. So she just sits. I can get her to sit <laughs> a bit better. Um, the next time I filled a pillow, I do find it's a bit too um, squashy. I put the nuts, uh, the walnut at the bottom and then just fibre filled the top. So even though when he slouched, he was there. But I just love that. I think that's so gorgeous. So she lives over there. <clears throat> For years, I was a quilter. Still am a quilter. Um but I haven't touched it since I started cross-stitching again. But anyway, I'm a quilter, but you don't see any quilts in my house because, you know, you make them and you give them away. 
So I'm a little bit excited. I haven't given away any of my cross stitch, but this will be probably the second thing that I've finished to display. So that one's special. <clears throat> the next three um, are some new designs. I've um, dabbled, starting to dabble in doing some designs after I did the, the Be Well and Stitch. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Oh, this was the other thing I finished. On Instagram, when we had the Be Well and Stitch uh, movement, I noticed there wasn't a lot of Aussie designers under that hashtag. So I um, stitched this, and that's free on my website, but I never actually finished it. So um, I had a cottage of the month in here, so I took that out. And, yeah, so I finally finished that. So I did that on the weekend of Julie's weekend. So I finished that. Oh, sorry, talking about designing. So, um, and that got me, I can draw. And I used to design um, under Frog Cottage. I used to do uh, quilts and raggy dolls. So I had a lot of patterns. And then in 2013, I broke my leg and that just broke all my mojo and I never got back into it. So it's nice to get back into designing again. So anyway, that's what started it all. <clears throat> Uh, so you've probably seen this one on Instagram and this is Happy Halloween and yes I made into a push cushion just remind me of Beetlejuice just liked it so that's not on my website yet but I hope to have it on um, in the next week or two um, because I've been away I also um, called in to see uh, Miss Lily my little granddaughter and I was only there like 15 minutes. She's in Sydney. And I got a phone call. Problems at school, you have to come now. So that was a two and a half hour drive. So I didn't uh, get to spend much time with Miss Lily. So I'm going to go back to Burrow and spend two days um, enjoying my little five month old granddaughter. So yeah, so that's why it may take a week or two for these to be on the website. That's Happy Halloween. I think that's coot. The other one I did, and yes, everything's getting finished in pillows. I have to stop that. Is B Quaker, and I think this turned out really cute. Probably overstuffed it, but um, they're little bees. So, not sure if that's back the front, but anyway. So that will be on. I love this. Um, where did I get that from? That's one of those lady dot creates or something. I got it from one, two, three stitch. It was quite cute. <clears throat> Another one is called Merry 2020. Because I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> if you can think of something else, let me know. I find it hard to name um, the patterns. So yes, here's a little cushion. <clears throat> so they were my finishes. And again, thank you to Julie because... If she didn't have that hashtag for that weekend, I probably that's probably still be sitting in the pile to finish. I just have to have a cough. Can you hold on a sec? Sorry, I'm back. Um, as I said, I hadn't stitched very much. I did, um, in the last couple of weeks, I did finish all of those. I started them early October. So in the stitching, I did finish that. But only, oh, three projects I, <laughs> I touched in the last three weeks. So one was, let's see if I get the pattern, sorry, not organised. <clears throat> I was trying to do the um, work on Halloween in October, so I pulled out October 31st. Oh, that's a bit creasy. And <laughs> that's all I managed to do before... Um, I only had two rows of the green and when I was sewing, I realised that my um, letters were wrong. So I had to take them out, frog them and redo them. So at least that was probably a couple of hours. It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> so I did that one. Staying with the Halloween theme, an oldie that I started for Mania. And yes, we have the pattern in here, is Gone Batty. Oh, why did I, 
write down boo to you. What's boo to you? I can't remember. So, again, I apologise for... But I, um, I did about eight rows of the pussycat, which is here. So, and like um, spring fling that I did earlier, you know, once you do the big, like that was a big bunny, once you get past that, hopefully it won't too, take too much longer. But that was a mania start. That's that one. And the other one, oh, which I love, I really like this one is a friend lover and no it's not halloween i pulled it out because i just love it so that's that one and the colors are nice gorgeous and what's this on this is on wren this has become my new favorite linen and we can't find the citrine there it is and the colors do differ because on this my flower is pink and I mean like an apricot color but on the pattern it's more a variegated pink mm. doesn't matter I really like that one I think I just worked on the flower I didn't get very much time for that one mm. so that's what we have <gasps> Sorry, should have closed the bag. <laughs> so that's what um, all I stitched on. I have been working on... Um... Oh, that fell out of something now, yeah, sorry. I have been working on organising my patterns. I think breeze stitching. Um, I have to go back and have a look at the name of the Facebook. She's in a Facebook group. Um, that is only working on your whips next year. So, but each whip must have a minimum of 200 stitches. I think I joined the group, but I just can't remember what it is at the moment, but I'll put it down below. So I thought, hmm, I went through all my whips. I have 24 whips, which I was astounded at because I thought it was a lot more. So I have started some new ones that um, I'll show you. Why didn't I write that down? But I, did, I have worked on some other things, actually. So naughty. I had it in the kitten. So um, the other one I started, sorry, I'll just show you now. I jumped on the bandwagon and started Pandemic. And what was it? Uh, X Stitch MD has been doing a lot of her samplers in the Silky, and I haven't been able to find any in Australia. If you do know, let me know and put your in your comments below. But I'm using parchment, where you can see it's variegated, and it I am stitching on a 32 count Nougat Stone Grey Belfast, and that's all I got so far. So I'm just starting on page one. Um, it looks quite grey, actually, here. But in real life, it ha does have a pinky tinge to it. So um, I'm not sure about that. But I'll keep stitching and just see how the threads go. Um, and if I'm happy, I'll, I'll keep going. But that's... Um, I started that because, you know, everyone's doing it. And you see it. It's all beautiful colours. And... I think, made by Michelle McGraw. She did a, um, I think it was an alphabet uh, stitchery by Hello by Liz Matthews. And she did it in the, I'm not sure if she did white, but it was an off-colour white, and I really loved it. That's why I thought I'd do my pandemic in an off-white. Yeah. So I've started that, but <clears throat> that's going to take forever because it's 365 by 429 stitches. Maybe a leap year. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but anyway, get back to it. Um, I did go through and have a look at a lot of the patterns that I did want to do and where I've been slowly either finding the material or finding the threads. So 
And then I'll be happy to take um, those projects over um, with my whips for next year. But I wanted to get them in. Um, sorry, otherwise I wouldn't have started it, but I will just do 200 stitches and put them aside and then they can go in my rotation next year. So one of them, which I've had fully kitted, and I apologize if I've shown you before, but it's Spell of the Moon. I just think that's so cute. And I'm doing that on a 28 count gray gum. It's in the plastic, but it's motley. And that's from Sew It All in Australia at Port Macquarie. What's this one? Oh yeah, I may have shown this one before. This one is Something Quicker by Barbara Anna. Can you see that picture? <laughs> Sorry. And so that's kitted ready to go on a Belfast summer khaki. And that was the core for fabric. So that will go. Whoop. I think um, I showed this as haul, but when um, I actually, I had them in my kitted area waiting for things because I was waiting, I think I changed the fabric. The other one is Forest Queen, which is that one. And I've been trying to order that and it's been coming up out of stock finally. Um, it's in stock and it's on its way to me. And little did I know that I bought it from Creative Poppy as a download. So I haven't had a giveaway. Maybe I'll do a giveaway when that arrives. And that's on a Twilight Blue uh, Linen, 32 count. And that's from um, The Cruel Goblin in Sydney, which I went and had a, a day trip with Miss Chrissy. Um, She's having a little bubba next year and we needed to go to Sydney for some scans. So if we're going to drive two and a half hours, we might as well do an extra hour and go to the Cruel Goblin. So we went there and stocked up on some threads and some um, material. But I can't show you what they are because I've put them all into my um, charts. Ah, this one. <clears throat> this is another one that I've bought two of. What's that one called? The Coffee Quaker. I um, am doing that on Belfast Vintage Country Mocha. Oh, I should take them out of the bag, shouldn't I? And I love the mottle on that, so that will look lovely. And I did buy that before, and I couldn't find the chart. And I keep my charts in an expanding folder. I couldn't find it anyway. Um, so I ordered another one and this is it. It arrived. And when I was looking for something else, I was looking for an A4 um, size pattern, like the Lila Studio, Studios Halloween Quaker. It's an A4. And I was imagining that this one was that size. So when I went through and went one by one, I actually found my other one. So let's see how that goes. And I finally got some um, threads. I'm not, I know everybody's having trouble getting threads, but in Australia, it's just that little bit harder. So after months, I finally got maple syrup, dark chocolate, uh, and apple cider I got last time. So they were ones that I was just waiting for. <coughs> So th that was all of my kitted. I do have another kitted, but that is for, um, I'll show you in a minute, because that's a stitch along that starts today. Previously, in my floss tubes, I'll open this up while I talk, um, I showed you my, the Adams Family stitch along. And I don't know what I did when I ordered the fabric, but once I started stitching, I realized that it um, wasn't wide enough. So I actually bought another piece and it's 
the same material, but now it's big, just to make sure. So that's part of my haul. And that's from Sew It All in um, Port Macquarie in Australia again. And I finally got, oh no, this isn't for this one, so I won't say that. I'll say this again. So I have to wind all those DMCs. I did make some floss drop cards and I ordered a hole punch and um, it's too big. So at the moment it's out of stock in my Spotlight store, which is like Joanne's, I suppose, in the States. Sorry if I just made that shake. Um, so I've ordered online, so I'll have to wait for that one because I think every stitch along I've got, has got um, over 60 DMCs. I have three boxes of floss and I still have to buy more. So when you see like that one is full of DMC cottons <laughs> and this new one, I just don't want to. So I'm gonna put them all on floss drops. So for those in Australia who need some DMC, um, I bought all of these from Itchy Stitchy. Uh, I think they're in Queensland and they're only 99 cents each. So, which is a bit of a bargain. Um, I think in Bathurst, I, I pay $1.35 or $1.40 and Spotlight's $1.50 um, unless they have the specials. So, um, if you need some DMC, Itchy Stitchy website, I'll leave that below. But all of these lovely colours are for a new stitch along that starts today with Darvaline Design Stu Studios, Nicole. The Hawk Run Hollow stitch along. Now I've chosen to do Halloween. Oops. And Hawk Run Hollow. I've been watching this for Jen Lee um, on Instagram. She's Quirk and Stitches. She does a 24 hours across stitch. And I think she's done five now. But I watch them and I think, oh, I just love this. So up and close. So today um, is Halloween in Australia. Um, last year we went to a place called Lithgow, which is an hour and a half away from us. Um, and they shut down the whole street and all the businesses um, trick-or-treat. So the kids... They shut off the street. The kids can wander up and down the street going in the businesses with their little pails and um, ex experience Halloween. So there's lots of rides, eateries, um, and even the adults get dressed up. So, But unfortunately, because of COVID, um, that's cancelled for this year. So we live on a rural property and it's 120 acres. So our next... Um, neighbour is you know a couple of k's between so and we live in a little village gold mining village of Safala where there's only like 20 houses so and they're usually older people so my kids don't get to do trick-or-treat and a lot of people here don't uh, believe in it but I like all the witchy stuff so tonight um we've got a what would you call it a list, I suppose, because I can't think of. We've got a couple of uh, movies. We always watch Halloween Town. Um, as we watched um, Bette Midler's thing today, we'll probably watch Hocus Pocus because the youngest one kept forgetting about Zachary Binks and Billy and everybody. So we'll probably watch that. And I did order some little... Um, uh, they were little pumpkins or little pails so uh, I can put their lollies and treats in that. So while they watch the movies, they can, you know, have some fun. And we bought sugar-free lemonade. <laughs> so, but um, that's because um, lemonade, other soft drinks send my kids a bit crazy. So that's where we're up to on that. So I'll start that tonight, hopefully. Excited, excited on that one. Ah, oh, 
Oh, another thing, um, as I was saying, when I in my designing days with quilting, um, my website used to have a lot of um, items for raggy dolls. So I had the hair, the buttons for eyes, rusty things. I had lots of fabric. Um, I've only just, uh, last weekend, sorry, I'm not sure if this will, low power. Uh, last weekend, I put all the fabric, I think I got 30 bolts back on the website and I'm only asking for $8 a metre. Um, so if you're interested, there's some French general, Moda, reproduction, uh, primitive gatherings. So, um. There's some fabric there if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll just put on a D stash page. Hi, hi again. Sorry for all the stops and starts. Just my nose is a bit irritated. but um, And it's still really windy. But um, one last thing I wanted to show you. Um, I've always tracked my quilting in my quilting days. And when I started cross-stitching, I bought the cross stitch planner from the fat quarter shop and it was great but it only held 50 um patterns or charts and i finished that book and i didn't finish it in time to order a new one and i didn't really like the thought of having all these different books um i did use the 24 hours of cross stitch um planner to plan my days on cross stitch sorry plan my days you know month at a glance what I'm doing but I found that I only used two or three of those sheets and there's a lot of sheets in there um because she's done it for every month and that so but I only use the weekly and a month at a glance and maybe sometimes the overview of the month and that helped me when I did my floss tubes. But, um, so I thought, oh, rather than buy a new one and have to wait months, because I don't think, couldn't find anything in Australia, which is the same. So I decided to do my own. So in my journal, I've got things, I've got 14 pages. Um, I've got things to do. Um, and that's not for at home. It's for only for my creative stuff. Things to remember, like today, um, West, I'm starting the Hawk Run Hollow Halloween. Um, and it's the 31st of October. So I think there's another sort of stitch along that where you could start things or finish things today. So they're the types of things that I would have put down on that to remember. And even though... Um, I've done it in week orders. Sometimes I'll sit on that page for a month. I don't change it. Um, I have my a list for all my whips, which I was pleasantly surprised was only 24 when I did it. Um, because I do floss tube, I've actually got a page for my floss tube notes and I'll just show you that one. And that's just an overview. So my starts, my finishes, my theme for the month, like it's Halloween, uh, projects I worked on, which is pretty sad. Um, hashtag to remember, um, floss tubers, which was Julie to mention that the um, FFO weekend that we did, which was good. Um, my haul, which I only did pandemic and some other things. Things that I kitted, even though I've got sales that I worked on, I was slack, so I change that and just some notes so here I just put that you know I've got my new fabric from Adam's family and um, I've got new I've got fabric now on my website so that was about all uh, other than that I have a month at a glance and this is one that um, I use all the time for the whole month I put hashtags to remember or dates to remember um, but I didn't have it month specific. So I just put the dates on, it's just boxes and my notes. So that's my month at a glance. I've got my weekly cross stitch plan, which I'm not sure if I'll use it, but in this one, oh, I did use it for last week. So I just put down what I was stitching. 
So I didn't think I used that. And then I have, um, because I've started the designing, I've started the design master so I know um, what I'm doing to separate it from my actual pleasure stitching. So it has, it's one whole page and it just says the name, some notes, um, the start date where I bought the fabric from, stitch size, um, the threads and when I'll do my patterns, I'll have substitutes. So if you want to do DMC or something. And then down the bottom, I've got the just some checklists, like the patterns being checked, PDF created, hard copy created, pattern published, and social media posted. So just to be a little bit more organized in that sort of thing. Because sometimes I can't remember. So many kids can't remember what I'm doing. And then that's the other one. Um, then I've got my just pleasure, all my projects. So since I've started cross stitching, which was May 2019 to today, 57 projects. So that's good. And there's a lot finished too, so <laughs> which is good. And then I just list each project. There's two to a page, which is the same where you just say, you know, fabric count, threads, that type of thing. And then one thing which I like because I get confused on my stitch alongs, whether the first of the month I've got it downloaded, I'm waiting for an email or bi-monthly, things like that. So I have a sale tracker where I can list uh, the days it's coming out and where I tick it, whether I've downloaded or re received the email. So it's basically just the same as the project, but it's just got a bit more tracking on it, which um, has worked well. What's that one? Linen and threads. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing the stitch along for linen and threads. And yes, I've got it all um, up to date. But um, I may use that when I've completed, I'm not sure yet, completed that month. I'm not sure, unless I put another column in received and completed. So I'll see how that goes. It will be um, a work in progress because what I'll do, if you do buy the, the planner, uh, the PDF, if I make some changes, I'll just automatically send you a new file. And this is one I've done because I was so confused um, trying to keep track of things. These are all the projects I have kitted. I haven't showed them all because I'm not going to do them all. And just where I'm up to, where I bought the fabric from, whether I'm waiting for the fabric, um, whether I'm waiting for the threads. So just at a glance, rather than go through them individually, I know what I've got. So that one... I've also done one for my fabric inventory, which I haven't put on as yet, but it's not for all the fabrics that I have in my stash, but it's for the ones I like and where I bought them from. So I just have a, um, it all in one place and maybe what I worked on. So I, it'll, I can recall where that fabric was used. And the last one is the chart inventory. Again, that's not, um, I won't put all my charts there, but it's if I'm watching Floss Tube and I have my book with me, if someone mentions a part, uh, chart and I like it, then I can, um, uh, sorry, then I can write it down. And then I can say where it came from, if I need to um, kit it or if it's fully kitted or whatever. It's just, um, yeah. So that's, I think that was the last one. I hope I mentioned 14 pages. Oh, can you hear that lovely music? Hmm. Oh, there you go, it stopped. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it might be my granddaughter's phone. I'm really not sure. Oh, well. Do, 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 do. It is Halloween. So, yeah. So, um, that's it from me this month. Um, if you have any questions, Put below, if you like my floss tube, uh, like and subscribe. Every pattern I've mentioned, I'll list below in my stitch alongs. Um, and that's it. And hopefully things will settle down and I'll get back to my two weekly 
floss tube. So um, wherever you are, happy Halloween if you celebrate it. And otherwise, happy stitching. Bye.